went out of way, the um, scuffle there, Meryl Groves probably made the difference in the game, the one that tied it and, and the one that still allowed them to go ahead. Yeah, you know, um, you're, you're exactly correct, you know, and any time you, in any game in particular, but when they're tight like that, you know, those little uh, routine type plays, you know, those become the difference. And you talk about a one run game and the ball that gets uh, sent into the left field. We made a good pitch and struck the guy out. And I didn't even think particularly that uh, the guy Kimple at second got a great jump. Um, but, you know, they they were the aggressor there and put the pressure on us. And, and uh, we weren't able to come through on that particular play. Um, and then obviously you made mention the bunt and that ball getting overthrown. So, um, you know, it's uh, just unfortunate. But uh, again, you got to give uh, Lafayette a lot of credit. They fought like heck. We knew they would after the tight game last night, you know, and they came out and uh, Kind of took it to us in a few of those situations with their with their feet and then uh, with their short game, and uh, we just weren't able to uh, execute those plays. And you're looking at the box score here; that's that's the difference. So it's been it's so early, but does Justin Campbell have a mental block right now? Because he really, I mean, that 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 throw wasn't close in that, in that situation. Yeah, you know, and on. Fortunately, he's had a couple of those situations already early in the season, and uh, neither have been landed on. So um, I, I'm certainly not going there uh, in terms of a mental block or anything like that. He trains well. He, he chases the butt well. Um, I don't know if you've ever watched us in pregame, but we have our bunters bunting, and they don't just roll to nowhere. We actually have our pitchers in groups too that get off the mound and chase bunts because we understand um, the importance of that, especially late in the game. So we train it, and uh, you know he's pretty good at it. So hopefully uh, it'll just be a couple of short miscues here early in the season. He'll be able to um, rectify those and uh, make them as the season moves on. So um, you know I, I do want to say that I thought um, you know Trent Johnson. Did a heck of a job tonight. I'm I'm happy for him. Uh, he's starting to get healthy. I think if you would agree with me, you know, he was throwing the ball with some life today, with some aggression, and uh, that'll be a good thing for us going forward. You know, he uh, when we brought Devito in, it was just that course of the game where we wanted to try to shorten it a little bit for Trent, just you know, so it wasn't maybe an elongated thing there. Um, but I thought he took the ball from Devito when we needed it most and drove that thing through the strike zone pretty good and kind of gave us a chance to kind of reestablish the game and get back in it. So, um, you know, sorry that his effort is um, going to get pushed off to the side tonight. But I, I told him afterwards that, you know, I think that uh, that'll be good for him and for us going forward. Well, he was outstanding. <laughs> All that being said, you had the guy at the plate you wanted to have probably um, here with a runner on second. So nobody's going to come through all the time. So uh, your, your thoughts on, the, on that? And then also, Ethan came pretty close to maybe ending it a few, uh, a few batters early with a, with a foul ball down the right field. Yeah, and, and I, I do want to give our guys credit. Um, you know, as poorly as we played in some of those spots that we've kind of dressed already, um, you know, we did have the tying run at second base there late. So uh, if that's a character trait of this club, that, that will be good for us going forward. Just the fact that uh, no give up, no give in. You know, we're always kind of talking about playing all the pitches. You, you don't ever know. And then um, we just got to that part in the lineup. Englehart obviously had a good night in his debut, puts a big swing off the scoreboard. And then I thought Simon, you know, uh, who is fighting with Chase at second base right now? I thought he came in and had a good at bat. You know, I thought he was on it and and uh, had a good at bat. And so anytime you can have the tying run and scoring position with the two, three, four guys coming up behind them, you know, you feel like you you have a pretty good shot. But uh, Tally's uh, tough, and particularly on left-handers, and and he was able to uh, wiggle out of that jam. So again. Um, all the credit to Lafayette. You know, they bounced back after last night. And uh, I told our guys that was round two of a three-round fight. And, uh, you know, the one thing, too, that 
I tell them is that even in defeat, you know, early in the season now, we've, we've had some tight ball games, extra inning games, things like that, that, um, you know, I think will be of value going forward. So we're going to have a uh, short sleep tonight, and uh, we got to get off the mattress tomorrow, you know, because it's, uh, like I said, three rounds and one for us and one for them. And so we're going to have to come out swinging tomorrow. You mentioned Eagle Eye. Quite the debut for him, two doubles and a, and a, and a home run. He, he said you, when you told him he wasn't going to start the first day, you, you told him you just wanted him to watch. How impressed were you with his, his performance in his first game? Well, very impressed. You know, um, not only did he have those at bats that you made reference to, but uh, he made two really nice glove plays too. You know, the uh, the ball there in the three four hole that was deflected that he gets to and corrals and throws a strike to a covering pitcher. Um, that was a really nice play. I thought it saved a couple of runs. And then also um, kind of a high bounder there with Keegan and it kind of flicked off his glove. He was able to come in and, and take the rebound from him and get an out. So I, I was I was proud of Chase. You know, he's been working hard. And, um, you know, like you said, just freshman and wanted him to kind of lean on the rail last night just so he could kind of smell it, see it, and uh, kind of get his wits about him. And I knew kind of going into this weekend that, uh, you know, he was going to get one of these starts. So uh, anytime you get in there, take the most of your opportunities. You know, he certainly did that tonight. Yeah, you know, it, it certainly was. Um, you know, he's throwing the ball um, much better than he did tonight. Um, you know, obviously, we moved him up a slot from last year. We got the three guys returning, and, and we decided to move him into this Saturday role and, and have Jack tomorrow. So that in itself should let you know how well we think that he has um, pitched. And tonight just wasn't his night. And, um, you know, we were able to scrap back in there. And, uh, you know, he's going to have to have a quick recovery athlete mentality. There's no doubt about it because we're going to certainly need him because he's a very talented kid. I mean, you see the body style, you see the arm strength and got three pitches. He's just going to have to um, get back up on the on the bump there and, uh, you know, go for it next weekend. Well, that was big. You know, I, I think our outfield uh, play for the first two games has been really good. You know, Groff hasn't had a lot of opportunities in left, nor has Logan. That that was one heck of a catch because those are plays that can help contain innings, right? And minimize the damage that we were uh, that was put in front of us and that catch again uh, allowed the runs to stay off the board so to speak and you got just the one but uh, you know he's not swinging the bat real good right now but it's things like that we talk about all the time it's just you know there's other ways you can affect the game um, I think Jared Hart's done that too you know uh, playing center field defense I thought he threw the ball to the right base a couple times a day which is big in our defensive scheme um, he's made some nice plays leaving his feet and tonight in particular the ball that was hit over his head by Willis uh, he was able to grab that ball stay on his feet catch it quick off the wall and get it in we're actually able to get him on the turnaround there at third base so he's um, his offense will come around but right now uh, he's affecting the game um, in a positive way with his defense. Thanks a lot and we'll see if we can get a nine inning game tonight. <laughs> right. Uh, that, that would be good probably for our pitching staff too. So uh, both teams have used some bullets and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see uh, who's going to show up tomorrow and play good game baseball. Okay. Thank you very much.